XRP price prediction and XRP news updates in today's video. What's going on everyone? Win with Ryan here and we're going to start this video off with a quick giveaway. We're giving away $100 and all you have to do is subscribe to my YouTube channel, like this video, comment below. Every single comment gives you an entry to win and then go over to winwithryan.com to make sure that you are subscribed to my Make Money newsletter. That's where we announce the winner every single month. So with that being said, keep winning. What's going on XRP Army? Man, it is good to have you back. I know that it's been a few days, maybe a few weeks since we covered XRP on the channel. Yesterday, we had that really great article. I'm going to re-dive into that article today um, now that this, article, this video is more XRP focused. XRP Army! What's up? Glad to have you guys back in the house. So today, we currently have 45 minutes left in today's candle. So uh, we are on a two-day down streak. We did actually yesterday was really nice because we were still, you know, rotating above that 21 day moving average, that 21 day exponential moving average. We have now broke below the 21 day moving average and below the 50 day moving average. So what happened with XRP is it came from this extreme demand zone and it sat there and consolidated for quite a few days. And then it did take its nice pump up. It pumped all the way up to that 90 cent mark, really 91 cents, which was the section where people wanted to take profit. So, I mean, if you were in this thing from the bottom, 55 to, you know, 58 to 55 cents, you got in here, pumps all the way up to 90 cents. And, you know, just think about it. Let's even take it from here up to here. And we don't even have to get all the way to the top. Let's just go to the bodies. You know, if, if you're coming all the way to here, that is the wrong indicator. <laughs> we'll go from here to from the bottom up to here. That's a 47% move. I mean, people dream about having moves like that and catching it, right? So if I'm a trader and I got a long position in here and it was sitting there for a couple of days, it moves up to this nice position here, which actually when we go into the reason that this is blocked out is because if we go over here, to the Heiken Nashi candles like we like to do, that gives us our last up candle before the down move, which is our supply and demand zone. It got right in there, boom, taking profits once it gets up there. So I completely understand why it's starting to come back down. The only issue is now, where is it coming back to? Is it going to be coming back into this zone here? Let's go ahead, clean up the charts. We're going to do a full uh, full analysis right now. So let's go ahead and hit the garbage can. Now we have clean charts. We can also see actually too this little line here. It's a lot thinner than the rest of it, but this line right here, it turned from green to red here on the drop. And that's where we reject it off. That is actually the 200 day moving average. The 200 day moving average was the ultimate resistance for us. We did also get to the outside of our Bollinger Bands here. And now, as you can see, the price was trading all the way down here in the 20s on the moving average, like on the daily in the 20s is insane. So that was obviously a great sign for a buy because usually you're looking for entries at about 30, you know, and it got to 30 here. In fact, that was probably a smarter move because if you were in at 20 and you're waiting, it traded sideways while price was going up, creating this amazing divergence. I know this is in the past, but I'm just showing you guys for potential future to see this stuff, boom. So you got this really surge in the relative strength of XRP while the price is trading sideways and then bam, to the top. So now what we're seeing here is the price is trading down and the RSI is trading down. So there is no divergence right now. We're not gonna catch anything that's like sneaky uh, to find. But right now today we're down 8% on XRP, which is a really, really bad situation because it's coming down even after all that great news. Let's go ahead and chart this out here. So Ripple XRP bounced off of the 75 cent support on February 18th, but the relief rally again faltered near the overhead resistance of 85 cents on February 19th. This indicates that the bears are defending this level aggressively. So like we talked about, when it gets up into that little level, that's where they're defending it. So Renewed selling on February 20th has pulled the price to a strong support zone between the moving averages. 
If this support zone cracks, several stops may be hit on the XRP USD pair, could slide all the way to 65 cents and then later all the way to 60 cents. So let's jump over to our live charts and we're gonna draw out 65. So we're gonna go over here to the horizontal line. We're gonna find the line here. It's gonna be labeled red and we're gonna make this one 65 cents, 0 0.65. There's that one. And then we're going to put another one in here at go to the settings tab, 0 0.60, save that. So these are our two supports on the way down that may be broken. Because when we go back to regular candles here, we did break below the 21 moving average. We did break below the 50 moving average. And now we're slowly leaking down. And it looks like we're about to also flip, unfortunately, the super trend from buy to a sell signal for XRP. Conversely, if the price rebounds off of the support zone, the bulls will attempt to push the pair above the downtrend line and the overhead resistance of 85 cents. If they manage to do that, the pair could rally to the psychological level of $1, which is where we were hoping that this was gonna be heading. So let's go ahead and do our downtrend line and take a look at that on the live chart. Okay, so over here, we're now gonna go over to our section here. We're gonna do trend line. And we're going to put our trend line in right there and set it. So what we're hoping for, right? So today we had two, there are second day of down candles. This may very well mean that we're coming back to this zone. However, as we saw, we could have a spike to the upside with good news. And you know how the markets are. We have 37, 37 minutes and then the new day Lee Candle starts, who knows what kind of great information is going to pop out. So what we're going to do now is take our horizontal line and we're going to set the one at $1. And we're going to change this one to green because this is where we're headed. 1.00. That's to the upside. So here's what we're looking at. If, if you were just wanting to know what's going to happen, well, price is going to head back down to here to 65 cents and bounce back up. Or it could very well rebound off of this section right here. If you take a look, it's actually been a section where like it's rejected off of before. So it very well could reject here, start climbing back to the upside. What we need is the price to come to the upside and then break through this resistance. That's our first real stage showing us that we're going to the upside. We need to break through this here. Once that breaks through, it can either continue on to here or it could bounce back test off of this resistance, turning that into a support and then taking it to the upside. So right now for XRP, the price predictions are going to be to the downside. We have 65 cents is our first prediction. And then it could drop to the 60 cents. We don't even want to talk about where it could go from there because it does get a little bit, you know, down to that 50 cent level. It should not do that with the news that just came out right now. The, the whole market is just in a bad situation. That's why people are you know, bailing on XRP. But what we're going to do is we're going to hopefully see today when this new candle starts, it does jump to the upside. We can also take a look for all of this. Let's clear these charts now. We're going to jump into the Fibonacci and we're going to go from our lowest, the swing low to the swing high right there. And that will tell us where we could be coming on the Fibonacci levels as well. The 618 does bring us to that 68 cent level. So the 68 cents for XRP on the Fibonacci could very well be the next zone for rebound. A lot of people, retail traders, when the price reaches from a low to a high, when it gets back to the 618, they really start to jump back in and buy. Same thing here with the 0 0.70 level. So anywhere in this zone could be an indication that we're going to the upside. Right now, unfortunately, with the market, everything is bleeding red. It's not been a great day at all. It's been two bad days in a row. All this craziness with the war. Crypto is supposed to be a hedge against all of the craziness in the world. But unfortunately, now that all these hedge funds are involved, now that countries are involved, you'll notice that the prices like stocks, they're starting to correlate and they're going along with the geopolitical situations around the world. So that is unfortunate. That has, I mean, it's, it's a good thing because that's how much money has come into the markets, but it's also a bad thing because now when something goes on that, I mean, fake news comes out, all of a sudden markets crash for no reason. So you got to be alert 
or that's, and I'm talking about for trading here. Now, for those of you that are long-term holders, I mean, great news came out yesterday, which we'll cover here in just a minute, but everything's looking good long-term for XRP. So jumping over here to the crypto news, and then we'll jump into the XRP news. That's what we got over here at Crypto Panic. Everything that's trending is right here. Canada may adopt current financial monitoring rules forever. So they're going full totalitarianism. It's like, I don't know, man. It's, it's freaking scary what's going on in Canada, actually. They're, they're fully putting, you know, they're, they're just crazy. Going full communist. It's ridiculous. Cardano trading activity blowing up. ADA transcends Bitcoin, Ether, and transaction volume for the second time in a month. Russia's largest social media network with over 100 million active users to support NFTs. El Salvador's GDP soars by double digits for the first time in its history. Wow. That's really great news. They got Bitcoin. President Buckle goes even harder on Bitcoin. Russia's finance ministry introduces digital currency bill, brushes off central banks' objections. Binance and Russia team up for bank association regulatory pro- policy, and Bitcoin wallet rejects Canada's court demand to freeze funds, citing technical impossible. So I don't know if you guys saw that article, but the Ministry of Money in Canada reached out to one of the actual Canadian wallet firms and was like, we need you to uh, give us information on these wallets. And it's actually a, it's, it's a, it's a, it's a company that gives you your own private wallet. So there's no, it's not a central exchange. They don't have access to your wallet. So they had to actually tell them no. All right. Now let's go look up XRP. It's wild, man. How, how all of these crypto things are just really getting political these days. So Here we are with XRP, XRP trading at 71 cents at this exact moment. Here's some news on XRP. Ruby on Rails creator backtracks as he expresses support for crypto. Price analysis, we went over that a little bit actually. Ripple versus SEC, XRP showing strength in the legal fight as new evidence arises. We did cover this yesterday, but I'm going to go ahead and dive into this is a separate article. Let's see what they have to say. XRP fight against SEC. The main reason XRP is falling behind the rest of crypto market has been a legal battle that started more than a year ago when the SEC opened their case claiming it's an investment contract. Everyone following this lawsuit will determine how blockchain technology should develop in America for future generations. Ripple has faced many challenges in this lawsuit against SEC, One recent twist was the judge Annalisa Torres granted them permission to respond, which they did with fair notice of defense earlier this month. Here's another one, Ripple SEC lawsuit. This might be the biggest decision of XRP per John Deaton. According to crypto law founder John Deaton, Judge Sarah Netburn's decision on the SEC motion for reconsideration might be the biggest decision for XRP Ripple case. The 63 emails comprising drafts and comments about director Hinman's lecture on ETH not being a security are the subject of the reconsideration motion. SEC had previously filed a move for reconsideration on behalf of the plaintiff, contending that Hinman's speech, which had previously been referred to as personal opinion, may now be referred to as public guidance. Many were surprised by the agency's U-turn, including attorney Jeremy Hogan, who responded with a tweet, I'm reading it, but can't quite believe it. Now the speech wasn't Hinman's personal opinion at all, but intended to convey the department or corporal finance's position on digital assets. In the legal world, this is as crazy as it gets. John Deaton believes that the chances XRP being mentioned in any of the 63 emails remain likely. Although the final version of the speech discussion, both Bitcoin and Ethereum, and does not refer to XRP, He asked, with the motion, what are the chances of XRP not being raised at all in any of the 63 emails? What are the chances that at least one person in the email chain brought up XRP? One person in the email chain could have posed a very reasonable question such as, what about XRP? Deaton feels that the SEC turning in the emails might be huge for XRP. If Judge Netburn ultimately rules that the emails must be turned over, it is huge. Don't forget Even if the SEC persuades her that the emails are covered under the DPP, she can still pierce the privilege and order the documents produced. 
Two given scenarios are presented by the crypto law founder. First, the Judge Netburn rules that emails are privileged, but orders that the SEC turn them in. It might suggest that XRP is mentioned and or the evidence is exculpatory. Second, if Judge Netburn overturns her previous decision and determines the emails to be privileged, then the emails, though useful to Ripple, might not be as important as perceived. We have 26 minutes left in the daily candle for XRP. Let me know down below, what do you think about the lawsuit? What do you think is going to happen? Is XRP going to win? I believe XRP is going to win. I believe Ripple, they have a case for themselves. All this information keeps coming out that is Ripple's, I mean, it's positive for Ripple and XRP. So we will see soon once this lawsuit is finalized. Let's go check out Ethereum and Bitcoin, see what's going on there. Ethereum is down 1.1% today. And it's actually looking like it's getting the down sloping movement for this is looking like we could be bouncing here. I mean, we've gotten to the 618. We're bouncing off the daily buy signal. It has not pierced through the buy signal. We're getting very close to that 70. I mean, it's just getting back into this supply and demand zone before we could be turning to the upside. We do still have this emergency zone down here. If it pierces and breaks through this, we could be returning to an $1,800 Ethereum. Taking a look over here at Bitcoin. Bitcoin, again, has been breaking below this long-term trend line, which is unfortunate. Bitcoin does have a support line here, this red line at 36,155. If it breaks below that, we could see the continued fall of Bitcoin back in that $30,000 range. We have now got a daily sell signal for Bitcoin. So, I mean, in reality, if you're a day trader and you got in and you rode up this wave, maybe from here or something, that was a nice pump there for Bitcoin, 25% move. Now we do have a double top here. Also, what's interesting, if you take a look at this trend line, we had this price and then the price going up, bang, bang, and then over here, divergence. So for those of you that are traders or looking to make moves in the market, make sure you're looking for these divergences. In fact, let's see. We have a divergence indicator on Market Liberator B. Let's see if it noticed the divergence. So it said that there was a divergence from here to here even, and then boom, the drop off happened from there. Let's go ahead and take a look. Let's get rid of that indicator and let's take a look at the Wolfpack divergence. If you go down here to Wolfpack ID with divergence. And it also says here and here, it's giving us bullish signals. So that missed it as well. Did not find this one here. When you drop down to the 12 hour time frame, it definitely has it there. So you can see, boom, this divergence here on the 12 hour time frame. That's another thing too. It's definitely important to change time frames to get a little bit of a better eye. Uh, you can see on the 12 hour time frame, it started sloping down all the way back up here for the RSI, you know, 42,000. Now we're back at 36,000. Also looking on this smaller time frame, you can see that our overhead resistance, which we had broke over here, it broke back down below there. It attempted to run back up there, rejected twice. So it's definitely coming to the downside and then going to continue to the downside. We could see a nice bounce off of this section here. You can see all of this here. Wicks, 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 wicks. So this could be a where the bulls step back in. Let's also go ahead and let's turn off the wolf pack. Let's go up into our indicators and we'll get our volume profile visible range. Let's take a look at what we got. So right here, where we're at right now actually, has a big steep section. So this could bounce from this point, which would be nice. We don't have to get all the way back to this point, but you can see there is a extreme fight for bulls versus bears here. And you can also see like there was a lot of action up here and then not so much action. You can see how it starts to dip in, right? So you got this big swoop here. And you can see how much faster price moves in those sections. Once it broke this zone here, like on this candle, once it broke, bam, to the top, right? 
So that's important to watch. Let's go take a look at Ethereum on the volume profile as well. So Ethereum kicked back and got us down. Yeah, this looks like it's coming down. I mean, it's going to get back into this zone for sure. Our next little, our next little support here is at 2,400. So that's where we're going on that. Let's look at XRP. Man, XRP has a drop for sure. I mean, look at, there's like nothing in here to save it from coming back to the zone of 67, 65, all the way to that 60 cent zone again. If this doesn't, if this doesn't stop here, this little order block, 67 cents, it doesn't return from there. It's not looking good. For the short, for the short term, of course. I mean, just, I'm just, talking out of my out loud. So here we have Shiba Inu as well. So Shiba Inu, it had a little bit of a chance to be returned around. This little order block happened and it rejected. Now it's come back into that zone, which we talked about is that four hour imbalance. It definitely reached that four hour imbalance and it's getting to that 618 line on the Fibonacci, which it has been an area of rejection where it was acting as a resistance before. So maybe we get to a position where this acts as a support finally. That would be very nice. Maybe it rejects here, turns back around today. We do have the sloping averages down. On the 12-hour, we do have our RSI down below the Bollinger Bands. Take a look on the daily here. Take a look at the daily. Oh, this thing has a lot of room to drop. So we're coming down. So signals look like we're coming back down. We're going to continue coming down. Yeah, we'll continue to look for some positive news in the markets right now. We are seeing nothing but downside. So, hey, don't forget to join the Run Guys community. Become an OG member. We do have a new NFT collection that will be dropping, and you can become a whale status with us, but you are going to have to own one of the OGs there's a very limited amount of those available right now. So make sure you go pick one up and here's how to do that.